Hello and welcome back to another episode of World of Warcraft Hardcore Diaries of Death. This is my Frost Mage. My name is Saiken, and today we are going into the Searing Gorge as promised the last time. Boy, oh boy, uh, that zone we should have done it a bit earlier. Like I said, there's not enough incentive to do higher level quests than your actual level, so theoretically, there are always enough quests around. But if you haven't played the game for 11 years, like my case then of course things might not be just as transparent so what we're going to do is we're going to get to the windmaster uh, collecting the quests and then we're going to do a full clear of the searing gorge let's go join me in uh, this beautiful zone good for starters we are joining the torium brotherhood uh, just don't need to run into the alliance um, flight master i'll mark that appropriately and I think there are quite a bit of quests here we got room for a few but not that many so that one yes that one yes and I need to free up space good freed up some space let's uh, talk to this guy well, that's a great quest that's another good one and that's yet another good quest uh, we got a 50 plus quest what the flux uh, should be one that we're doing as well fabulous so whoever is a blacksmith will have an absolute field day here uh, because it is just a lot of uh, good recipes uh, or base recipes for fire protection armor uh, coming from here anyways our job is uh, to get spiders down heavy war golems need to die dark iron taskmasters and slavers need to die and uh, we're stealing flux plants here oh boy there are even more quests. Okay. Well, lots to do. Uh, let's uh, get going. The cool part about it is since we have so many quests, uh, we can literally go ham and uh, kill whatever enemy we're finding because every single one of them, in one shape or another, does have a quest for us. Let's start with uh, just grinding down a few spiders. Okay, I stand corrected. Magma elementals do not have a quest yet. But that might change. now changed okay we're officially having like massive amounts of quests should have come here much earlier this is such a good uh, that uh, would have been such a good idea around level 50 but yeah we anyways need to clean up around uh, there are quite a few quests in Felwood uh, in the Unguro crater even in a Shara, there is a quest uh, where we would uh, need to uh, just clean up the quests because they were like two levels over our level at the point when we abandoned them. So we can always kind of come back and do the quest. All right, I'll grind a little bit ahead and we'll give you an update how it goes. All right, so we found the key for yet another quest. Holy smokes, we have a lot of quests. And we're going to get the secret plants. There is also a small elite area uh, up here, which we're not going to go into. Well, 
Oh, is that the one? No. Uh, where do we get the flux? Okay, so it's a random drop. My bad. I thought it was an interactable object. All right, I'll continue to grind. All right, we're starting with a more dangerous part because uh, we do still have our fortitude buff going. And also our spell uh, power. So there are a couple of uh, quests inside of uh, the mountain. And if my memory serves me well, this is the entrance. So what we're going to do is we're, since it is a cave structure, we're going to play it safe. start in the cave. Alright, if I'm not mistaken, this here is the entrance. Oh yeah, that's the entrance. Lots and lots and lots of stuff in here. And we're just going to go around uh, killing the incendiar, uh, getting the fierce uh, flux back, killing taskmasters that should be in here, <coughs> and maybe getting a heart of flame or two. So yeah, that's uh, that's going to be a lot. I'm not sure if the nine minute fortitude buff will be enough to do that, but I think we're going to find out. Certainly a lot of taskmasters in here. The biggest challenge for us in this cave will be that enemies are running away and that we are going to have plenty of controls. Another taskmaster behind us. Can't just let this guy go. Because he could add from behind. Luckily for us, since we are a little bit over level, we should be okay in the cave. A uh, very low amount of uh, resists. And we should be able to uh, to get like four of them down in one uh, mana bar. We should still be careful. These guys here do have a net ability, so running away will be problematic. Hence, just don't don't run away. Stand your ground against them. Us being level uh, 50 odd, uh, these guys also have a lower aggro radius, so that might be helpful for us. I will still nonetheless uh, kill all of uh, them. We can also loot up, it is okay. I don't want to fall into the lava, but I might still do them as well. That's a bit of theme to get used to lava everywhere We need to get the secret flux, which should be straight ahead. I think, if I'm not mistaken, it was not straight ahead, it was through here. Okay, plenty of enemies and plenty of patrols. The workers are okay, taskmasters not so much, so we deal with them. The 
think I'll just kill this worker as well. Really don't uh, like situations where you're getting the way you're risking to have ads. This is a small corridor, easy to kill this guy. So yeah, we're not going to kill a lot of workers, but a few of them might be a necessity. this guy doing I don't like moving workers I'm sorry dude you have to die so my rule of thumb here that I just came up with is I want to make sure that in no direction there are more uh, enemies because if someone runs away I can handle two additional enemies, can cheap one, and just kill the other one. But if there's more than that, then it becomes problematic, and all of a sudden I need to run and This is great because we finally have a little bit more room to work with. So, how do we get up there? Uh, it appears to be kind of an, a way around that. Yeah, the ledge here. Okay, makes sense. And these are the situations where a little bit of patience pays off. We're just going to wait until the slaver uh, comes around, kill that, kill that, move up. And that's the plan. Here is still a close call. So we are in a dangerous area. This is an area where a lot of people can easily die. 
just because enemies are getting away you get ads and running out is not an option right um, because all of that I'll drink another arcane elixir from this guy. So we still do have uh, the fire elemental is uh, fire elementals is. I think to the right and we're going to get the secret flux because there is a patrol. Good, we still need a few more taskmasters and we're definitely moving in the wrong direction for the elementals, which I think are on the other way, so we would need to go out anyways. Yeah, no. Okay. That plan is not going to work. I'm not going to even bother uh, working through three elites. Yes, uh, given that they are lower, I could even kill them with a little bit of clever kiting that would be possible, but listen, we're so deep within that cave. I'm risking nothing. The quest should have, by the way, said uh, elite quest and not just normal quest, but okay, whatever. It is what it is. We're going to go out and I'm searching for those elemental snacks. Fast forwarding. All right, so I decided that despite uh, theoretically being able to go through all of uh, the cave and pass the foreman, um, the killing the few, uh, dinosaurs there is just not worth it. So I'll skip that one quest. Uh, it is possible to go there. I could have done it, but uh, the reward is really not worth it. Instead, what we're going to do is we're getting two more hearts of flame down here. And are then going to get heavy war golems and a couple of spiders. So, 
fast forward for you guys as always and I'll just grind through it okay perfect so trading of quest I think by the way uh, that now that I reflect about it there might have been also a different way to uh, the dinosaurs uh, I came across uh, these upper ledges and I think I'll just drop down there but not immediately I just need to regain the quest I aborted it first we're going to kill the spiders important we're going to get the lookout spyglass then we're trading everything in regaining the quest and then we can do it so i think up here uh, is where the spyglass has originally been located uh, is uh, that is not it I think it might have been around here, somewhere, up here. Oh yeah, the lookouts, okay, gotcha. Good, I found the spyglass. The only thing that I need to make sure is not to pull uh, these guys up here. Although they are uh, having the dagger as well. On the other hand, it says number one deadliest in Searing Gorge. Uh, average victim level level 50 so from for me they are green which is a bit reinsuring uh, we might give it a try just to see how well it uh, goes but if there is the slightest issue we're going to just bounce because uh, the daggers can also drop from the lookouts which are non-elites line of sight nah hmm. doesn't uh, sit right with the theme. I know I could do it but why risk anything so I will now grind 19 of these spiders let's go good after a bit of grinding we're at 20 of uh, these guys so the next uh, thing that we need is a torium kind of rebuild a weapon is going to uh, come from mainly the towers which are all around here uh, so they host lookouts and the little lookouts are having are having exactly these uh, weapons torium plated to dagger it is all right Let's move up and do that. Uh, and although these guys are unfortunately uh, rangers or hunters rather, uh, solo and in the level, their shots do not really hurt. Good. I'll grind uh, the eight daggers and. Then I think it is almost time to hand in. Uh, that'll be the next uh, the next step, and uh, maybe we can retake uh, the um, dinosaur quest. Good, we got all of the daggers together, which means we can finally hand in uh, the follow-up quest, which is good. And we are also having quite a few uh, quests to trade in here before our next quest up might be further down there. So, yeah, that's likely not going to happen unless I find someone else here, but we're going to see. So, for starters, uh, let's. Uh, clear out our inventory I would say good we're going to take the dinosaur quest again uh, quite a pretty penny actually 15 gold pieces just for all the house quests that's not too bad and we can hand in another quest 
quests where? Oh, sure. Down here. Mana regeneration gloves, yeah. No. I, by the way, stand corrected. All of uh, that little questing gave us even more. We're almost up uh, 19 gold. Cool. So, we still got the Insedozars. Uh, and then down here we do have two quests and very likely i'm not going to do this here flames of uh, casing uh, let's see how how high are uh, these elite mobs here what kind of level are they Healing wave sucks, shrink, mm, not great either, and the drop rate might be very low. So, yeah, no, unless we do have a partner, I'm abstaining from it. Okay, so if I'm not mistaken, uh, this here could be exactly what we're looking for. This is the other entrance where we get, uh, go directly to the dinosaurs. Just need to confirm my hunch here. Yeah, I think that looks oddly familiar. And there we are. Fantastic. Didn't need to skip the quest, just needed a different entrance. Cool. And these guys are not following the normal rules of caves because their reason is quite tame. We have a lot of room in here and they are not uh, very threatening. So all we need to do now is uh, kill 20 of them and we're good. I'll do that. Fast forward for you. And ta-da! Just like that, uh, we are at 20 in Sendosaurs. Last one is a Resistosaur. Uh, we are going to take uh, the quests more on the southern side now. There are still a couple more uh, to go. We're done inside of this cave. It was fun whilst it lasted. And now we're going to go to the wooden outhouse. And I'm going to do the quest here. Uh, based on that, I think we have uh, then done most of uh, the immediate quests. There are a couple of BRD quests available and of course the elite quests. But I think most of this immediate stuff we have done. And it is important because some of the later attunement quests, I think, require you to uh, to do the pre-steps. So, wanted to make sure that uh, that we are uh, have quested here. And I've also thought about uh, maybe going to the blasted lens right afterwards, and uh, which would uh, be uh, down here, where we do have a bit of a higher level, like. 52 to uh, 54, but since that's exactly the level range that we're currently in, uh, that seems like an oddly good fit from my perspective. So, yeah, delaying the Searing Gorge had a couple of advantages, that being one of them. Good. Now off we go down here. 
Good. We made our way over here in this wooden out house, which is a little bit of a toilet, um, serves as a quest giver. Not the toilet, but the guy who's hiding inside of it, of course. So, all we need to know uh, to do is clear it and we're good to go. Searing Gorge is like making a nice little uh, holiday compared to the Western Plague Lens. Very good. Uh, gotta get the geologists uh, down here. Another eight of uh, them, I think, is what we need. That's one of the best spots where they can be, so... Good. Look, I'll grind through them and fast forward for you. Very good. So... Let's trade in. We got our last uh, quest uh, completed, and that uh, completes also the Searing Gorge uh, part for now. I don't see a lot else that uh, needs to be done here, other than the elite quests, of course, and I already mentioned that's potentially not going to be the best use of our time. I got a trinket, which sucks, but it's, I guess, better than nothing. And. Oh yeah, we found a head, uh, finally. It's still a bad uh, one, but it is better than nothing. So, the Lufa, yeah, at least remove some, something. Remove uh, Removal of bleed, I don't see many situations where that will be ultra important, but okay. Like I said, better than just Argent Dawn, uh, from, uh, Argent Dawn trinket that does not do anything. Uh, we're done here. Uh, we only got uh, what the flux, which is uh, hidden behind an elite cord, which requires us to get silk cloth, which I don't think we'll uh, manage to do. But yeah, I might be wrong. Maybe we're going to find it and that's really it next up we're going to go through the sea of cinders uh, right into the blasted lands and here we should have a couple of uh, quests um, certainly do have an option over here uh, which oh burning steps it uh, it was it, uh, the blasted lands are somewhere else burning steps my bad so in the burning steps and then we're just going to quest a little bit here there aren't terribly many quests uh, as far as i do remember but a few of them and that should uh, if we're lucky enough get us all the way to 54. thanks a lot for watching guys uh, take care and have a good one bye bye